What's up guys, Scott from RC Must See, and today I got something a little bit different for you. So recently I was approached by um, the guys here at Hobby Masters in Red Bank, and uh, they had a little bit of an idea. So they have a space next to them that uh, has opened up, the business has moved out, and they own this side of the building. You can kind of see it here, I'll give you a little 360 of it. And uh, in order to encourage some more people to maybe come and get interested in rock crawling, which is something that if you follow my channel, you know I've dabbled in quite a bit. It's kind of how I got my start in the RC thing here. Um, they wanted to set up some kind of a, a crawling course, which could be cool. Um, here's the space I'm kind of working with here. Uh, essentially, it's about 15 feet by 30 feet of length. Basically, you want we wanted it to be somewhat movable easily, right? Because uh, if we have to move out of here or another business ends up taking this space, it can't be this massive permanent project. Hmm. So I have some materials, uh, kind of old display shelving that I have to, to work with. And the question is, once we get it down here, how are we going to set it up? We have some ideas. Uh, the, uh, the managers have some ideas of how we want to do this, but um, I've always wanted to build a course. So we're going to see if we can do that. So after a couple hours of work and a little bit of rethought here, we kind of are thinking of doing something like this and to explain what we're thinking, all right? So here's the gondola. Um, I had to cut these in half and all of this stuff had to be brought down from upstairs. That was a lot of work, but uh, it's nice that it's kind of pre-built. And we're gonna have this center tower be kind of multiple lines up, down, through the bottom. Pick your line. We're thinking of making it go up back there, have it turn around and you can go up over top, you can take a middle line. Um, I know it's a little hard to imagine just looking at it now, but lots of work to come. At the very least, we were gonna get the skeleton put up and then we can kind of start to flesh out the trails using wood and whatever else we wanna use to kind of make the obstacles. So going well so far, several hours of work. We gotta keep cracking on here, Whew. Now, uh, it looks pretty crazy, and it's kind of hard to imagine, but these are old uh, shelving, as I said before. And as you see, I've gone ahead and cut out some spots. So essentially, what we're gonna have here is a big course that is gonna have multiple lines that and bridges that go from the bottom. Uh, you can run along here, go under, around, back up and over, and then the plan is to have a couple bridges that go up on either side. We can use the pegboard, as you see here, and mount up a top line. So it's just a matter of securing these and putting obstacles on these. So once you get up, you can go around, turn around, come back down, go back up. Really, the, the options are unlimited. Um, you can get somewhat of an idea. I'm essentially using scrap. All the scrap wood that here in the hobby shop they've collected uh, to make the obstacles. And then I want to throw in some natural stuff as well. This is going to be the fun part. We did the hard part for the most part. Well, I did. And, uh, and uh, you know, now we get to flesh the trail out. And I brought my ascender today so that we can at least test it as we go. It's going to be built for a 10 scale, so I might as well do it. I don't want to just throw anything down. It's a mess, and we're going to be painting it when it's done for sure, but for now, just going to uh, have some fun and put the course together.